Hi, my name is Josh. And that's Jenna. And it's time for another edition of I Teach My Wife Sales. It's happening again. Jenna and her mom going at it because Jenna recently moved her mom from her apartment into a nursing facility where she's watched round the clock. And Jenna's mom wants out every night. Literally, she calls Jenna. And what does she say to you, hon? God damn it, Jenna. I can't stay here another night. <laughs> They're torturing me. You gotta get me out of here. Right. And how do you respond when the raging bull comes at you? Well, Mom, um, you, you're, you need to be there because in your apartment you kept falling down and you were getting hurt and there was no one there to help you. And then when I would send people there to help you, you wouldn't let them stay and you would make them leave. and. You, and you know, it wasn't working out, so you, you're where you need to be. So Jenna was using all these logical arguments. Seems to make sense, uh, right? right? So how'd that work out for you? Well, it, it gets her upset because obviously I'm not giving her what she wants. I'm not coming in. She wants me to come in and get her out of there right now. Yeah, when you try to change people's minds, it doesn't get you very far because of something called the backfire effect. People often dig their heels in deeper. So what I did is I enrolled Jenna in Chris Voss's master class, which teaches you how to have more productive conversations by making people feel heard and understood. So what we're gonna do now is test Jenna's new communication skills. I'm gonna play the role of Jenna's mom and she's gonna play the role of her. And let's see how it goes. God damn it, Jenna! Get me out of here, I wanna go home! You want to go home? Yes, I want to go home. I can't stand people coming into my room at all hours of the night at 2 o'clock and the 3 o'clock in the morning checking my blood pressure. They're checking your blood pressure? Yeah, they're checking my blood pressure all the time and I just want to be by myself. Well, Mom, it sounds like you really miss your your privacy and your, your independence. I do miss my privacy and the independence. That's <laughs> why I want to move out of this place and I want to move back into my apartment and I want to go tonight. Tonight! Well, Mom, how's that going to work when, in the past, when you were in your apartment, you were falling down, you wouldn't let anybody help you. Um, how's that going to work if you go back to your apartment and you fall down? You get me somebody in there to help me stand up straight, and I'll, I'll walk independently. That's what I'll do. I'll walk independently and go right back to that place. Well, Mom, that's my hope. My hope is that you're going to walk independently in this place where they have PTs to help you, and you might think I'm the worst daughter in the world right now, but I, right now my concern is your safety, and I just want to keep you safe and in a good place. Okay, I love you. I love you very much. You see the difference there? Everyone has a hunger to be heard. It's such a critical skill that you can have in both your professional and your business life. So instead of overcoming objections, understand them and make people feel heard. Nice job, honey. You think these tactics will help you have more productive conversations I'm, with I'm the I'm impressed with your acting skills, hon. <laughs> the Oscar for best actor in a drama goes to Josh Braun. <laughs> Hope this was helpful, guys. Have a great night.